Hi everyone, Nathan Hall here. Today's lesson we are going to look at using math in the real world. Quick review before we do all those math tests coming up. So a big part of this, if you've ever gone shopping, one thing you should always look for when you do is the unit price. That'd be how much for each one of something. So if you buy a lot of something, do the prices stay the, chain, the same or do they change? Something we'll look at. There are values hidden and way you shop. Have you figured out the best value for your money? What kind of math do you, that's right, you have to know? Objectives, we're going to explain the solution to a problem using order of operations. Big thing here is we're going to take all that math stuff, make it useful. So when you are El, Cli El Cliente, you're going to shopping. There's some general terms to know. This will not be this is not a vocabulary intensive lesson, so we will spend a lot of time on these. So how do you figure out what the best deal is? Okay, a single Snickers bar for 89 cents, or let's just say Snickers bars are cheaper. I know, or a Snickers miniature candy bars where I have 11.18 ounces for 3.69, or a big old king size bar has 3.29 ounces. For two dollars. This one's actually kind of easy. Consider it this way. Okay, well, for two ounces, so that's going to be about 40 cents an ounce. This one, okay, three ounces of two dollars, that's going to be about 70 cents an ounce. But this one, geez, <laughs> this actually does turn out to be the best buy by a long shot, about 30 cents an ounce. Here's another example. Which one is the best deal? A can of Coke for 80 cents. Uh, one a, a bottle of Coke, nice 20 ouncer for 129. Or these two liters that they sell for two dollars. Really? So you can see here that this is about three times the amount for only 70 cents more. This is easily the best deal. And even this one, it's about um. Let's see. So this would actually be, be the worst price, it turns out, and that's what we're going to look at, the unit price. The cost per liter per kilogram that you want to buy something. So two liters at $3.80, $1.90 a liter. So a quick example. We have someone named Oliver. He's going to pay $56 for seven pizzas. Unit rate, $8 a pizza. So some questions below to take a look at this. This goes back to rate and ratio, which I know we talked about. So what's a better deal here? Two liters of milk at three dollars eighty cents, or one point five at two seventy. Quick division: three eighty, one ninety, two seventy, one point five. Actually, turns out to be the better deal here, the one point five. Another one: ten pencils for four dollars, six pencils for two seventy. So then we have to look at when you buy pencils for your standardized tests. Here, it's cheaper to buy the larger amount. So weights and measures. Uh, United States, we have our American system. It makes no sense. I know that Puerto Rico, they still mainly go by the metric system. Vietnam as well. Most countries in the world. The other system, as you can see, really doesn't add up to much. Three, tables, three teaspoons is one tablespoon. Two tablespoons is one fluid ounce. So you get to eight ounces, one cup, two cups, one pint, two pints, one quart, four quarts, one gallon. So some questions we're going to have, and these will be some of your assignments. Six pairs of socks from one for $14.99, or buy one pair of socks, get the other half off. And these will show up down below, so take some time, familiarize yourself with these. And some questions we'll look at. Why do things get cheaper as you buy more of them? Why would you pay more for a smaller amount? Well, another question there. That two liter of Coke's the best bargain. You really want to walk around with two liters of Coke? Can you drink two liters of Coke? If so, you are a stronger person than I. And different stores, different prices. So a lot of shopping you can do. This will come up in personal finance and home and family economics. That's why we're doing it here. Any questions, come to the live class. You can even go to Math Cafe for this one. I'm sure they'll help you out. Goodbye for now.